Hello, I'm Dr. Froyland Mendoza, Superintendent of the Baldwin Park Unified School District. I am pleased to highlight some of the great milestones and successes that our students, schools, and staff have achieved since the start of the new year. At the end of January, students in our dual language program had the opportunity to learn firsthand from guest lecturer and award-winning author, Maritere Rodriguez Beas. Beas spoke on the benefits of cultivating bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural homes. She visited multiple BPUSC schools followed by a special parent discussion at Olive Middle School on January 25th. On January 23rd and 24th, incoming Baldwin Park High School freshmen from across the district had the opportunity to learn about the academic, athletic, extracurricular, and visual and performing arts programs available to them when they become freshmen. The Braves On Tour event concluded with a joint pep rally on February 2nd at Baldwin Park High School's Ted Gorell Stadium. Huge congratulations are in order for North Park Continuation High School for being redesignated as a model continuation high school in February. North Park was noted for creating compassionate and strong teacher-student connections that ensure students succeed both academically and personally. While the 2022-23 school year has brought many successes, it is not without its challenges. As you may know, the district continues to experience declining enrollment due to low birth rates and other demographic challenges within the community. Having fewer students means that we need to consolidate campuses and programs to ensure the long-term financial stability of the district. Closing schools is never easy or ideal, but it is important to act now so that we can continue to provide robust programs to support student success for years to come. On January 31st, the Superintendent's Advisory Committee on School Closures recommendation to close Pleasant View Elementary at the end of the school year was approved. This was a difficult decision, and we know that it's hard on many of our families and staff. I want to assure you that we are working diligently to ensure that students and employees have a seamless transition to their new schools. Over the next few months, the Superintendent's Advisory Committee on School Closures will continue to meet to develop a long-term plan and make recommendations for potential future closures. It is important that we hear from the Baldwin Park community about their thoughts and concerns. To that end, the district held town hall meetings to meet with parents, students, and staff, and other members of the community to review current updates from the Superintendent's Advisory Committee on School Closures as well as to answer questions and gather feedback and suggestions for the district's long-term consolidation and revitalization plan. Additional town halls will be held and I encourage you to attend. Lastly, I want to thank our Baldwin Park Unified teachers, staff, and families for your continued support in our mission to ensure high achievement for all learners. To stay up to date on what's happening in our district, please visit our website and follow us on social media. Thank you for watching.